That's a really good question. I thought, I thought about wearing it, wow. you know, like, uh, like, you know, bling. Um, Thank you, Russell. It's pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Know, you know what Frank Castle is in my bones. You know, like Frank Castle is in my bones. You know, you, you were growing up, obviously, when, when the governor kind of honed this genre of action and, and changed the whole landscape of it. Right. How kind of surreal and, and meaningful is it for your career to be opposite him for a second time now? Uh, it never gets, it never, it's never normal. There's never a point where it becomes uh, something you're used to. So, uh, I, I, yeah, absolutely, just like all of us grew up loving his movies, you know, first, I probably saw Running Man really early. I know Terminator 2 is a film my mother took me to see in the theater. Um, but once uh, you hit that kind of 10, 11, 12 age, he was, he was into his action comedy era, which became my favorite, you know, moment in, in his career was, was those films. Uh, Last Action Hero is one of my f favorite films. You know, he's always, there's always been this quality of, um, as a child watching his films, there's always an access point. There's always a proxy for you, um, be it John Connor or Alyssa Milano's character in Commando or, or uh, the kid from Last Action Hero. You know, there's, or the little boy in Jing all the way, for that matter. It's, it's, there's always seems to be a, a, a character that you can, that represents you up there. And um, so you dream of having Arnold be your friend. He's, he's, like, one, he's like one of your best, he's this uh, massive historical figure who's your buddy. And never, never dreaming that it actually becomes a reality, but, but at some point in 2018, it, it did just that. And, and we made the Terminator film, we became close friends. And, um, and now we had this opportunity to do it again. Uh, once again, not really getting along on screen as as well as we do off and uh but at least this time we're not you know punching each other in the face for for days on end um however much we may want to in the show but it's uh this 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 time around it was really special in that we got to bring a lot of our true life uh relationship to the screen and got to um you know be humans humans with emotions that that uh had issues with each other and um, which is not the case with Terminators usually. How was your approach with him on set for Dark Fate? Did you get some questions out of the way where you just kind of like relax and, and work in this one or, yeah. or maybe did you pick his brain more for this one? You know we you'll just being around him you're gonna get some great stories you're gonna uh, there'll be a little downtime here and there and and we spent a lot of time together in Budapest training so there was um, there was there was plenty of op opportunity to to, uh, to to go ahead and pick his brain or, or ask just just ask questions you're curious about for all these years and uh, and he's also very open and, and very uh, um, forthcoming with a lot of you know awesome you know only kind of behind the scenes Hollywood stories and he so so I, I never really pressed it I, I always felt that the moment will arrive when certain secrets will be revealed, you know, and, uh, and just being around him, just being around him was enough. And, and, uh, we've had four or five years now of friendship and we do a lot of charity work together and we, uh, you know, we hang out here, here, here in LA. And, and, uh, so I've had, I've had tons of opportunity to, to, uh, you know, hear from the horse's mouth and, and, and now it's just, just kind of bask in, in, in the, in this, you know, Sur surreality and, and absurdness of it all. It's just uh, that uh, you get to call the governor, you know, the great Arnold Schwarzenegger, your friend. And, uh, and yeah, now it's, now it's nice to just not feel the pressure to ask any questions. Just do a, have a bike ride to Gold's Gym and just get your pump and have breakfast and just, <laughs> just be, you know, guys hanging out. How much of FUBAR's charm for you in, in taking on was that it doesn't take itself too seriously? Oh, uh, you know, I think that was my job. That was my, um, the weight I carried as, as my character to bring a little gravity to it, to, um, to, uh, counterbalance the, the hijinks and the, and the humor. Um, so, 
but there we struck a balance, which is great because it can't be overly serious. It can't be because uh, then you know because then the jokes don't hit, and and we we walked a very fine line, and I and I, and I think we uh, we did it gracefully, and I'm really really proud of the way it came together. I know you've obviously been asked about Ghost Rider quite a, quite a bit, but you know the ride you're on now and where your career is at now. Do you, do you think the timing might be right? Do you still have an urge to play that character? Oh, I love I love that character, and and um, it was really special. It, it 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 had only come into existence in 2014, created by Felipe Smith, um, and then it was 2016 that we that we uh, did the show, and 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 literally not a day goes by that somebody doesn't ask me about it. Um, so if, it feels like the demand might be there and if the creative is there and if it makes sense, you know, I think with, with Marvel right now, it's, it's so intricately woven that, that, um, it would be a few years out if they started to think about it, you know, to do the character. So, uh, I'm always open. I used to, I, I, my, my stock answer used to be, you know, I love what we did and I'm very happy with what we accomplished and I could, I could be happy leaving it there on the shelf and admiring what we did and have the uh, audience remember it fondly in the way they do um, to, to, to uh, do the character again. Just gives me another opportunity to mess it up. So uh, there's, there's that mindset. But now I feel that I'm a lot more open. Should it come around, if it makes sense, um, I'm more than happy to, to, you know, I try to keep myself in shape. Arnold, Arnold demands it. Uh, and uh, so I'm, I'm still certainly physically capable of doing it. And um, if it's a great story and they'd have me, of course. When you first start preparing for a role like that, an iconic comic book character, it, can the source material be overwhelming in terms of like overthinking your approach, or, or were you trying to put your own spin on it right away? Uh, with 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 characters like Robbie, the Ghost Rider, or or Tommy, um, they've been established, and and uh, and I've I've been able to to. Um, access the source material, fall in love with it in a lot of ways. And sometimes when you love something that strongly, um, it may interrupt your, your, uh, you know, your process and what you're trying to accomplish. So, so I think it's, I think it's just, uh, uh, important to balance it out, you know, absolutely hit all the notes that you know are, are vital and, and, uh, and are, in, you know, intricately part of the DNA of certain characters. And then, it's going to naturally take its own shape if I'm just honest in, in myself there on the day. So, um, I, uh, yeah, there's definitely, a, there's definitely a part of my, a part of me that's really, it's important to honor what people love about certain things, what I love about it. And, uh, and that, you know, that, that kind of helps if you have a few of the blocks already laid, some of the foundation is already strong. Um, I think it's important to start building from there.